Welcome Earth Scientists, and I'm going to explain to you how to use the Generalized Bedrock Geology of New York State chart. So this is on page three of the reference table, and it has everything about the bedrock, the rock on the ground underneath all of the soil. So it has information about geologic periods, which are time periods. So it's got things that you might have heard of before, like the Jurassic and the Triassic period as well as some ones you maybe aren't familiar with, like the Ordovician and the Devonian, the Cambrian, all sorts of time periods. This is nice and neatly organized. As you go down the chart, the rocks get older. And at the top, they're the youngest. So if I wanted to find the youngest rocks in New York State, I would look for this pattern right here, the dashes. And that's over here on Long Island. So Long Island is the youngest part of New York State. If I wanted the oldest part of New York State, I'd look for this sprinkle pattern or the squiggly lines, which are up here in the Adirondacks. And everything else is going to be in between. Now we have some other information on here too that's pretty important. It tells us right here the the rocks in that region are dominantly sedimentary. They're things like sandstones, shales, and conglomerates. So any of these patterns in that area shown by the line are going to be sedimentary rocks. So that would be that dot pattern we have right here the stripe pattern and the diagonal stripe pattern we have right here, that whole area has sedimentary rocks. Now what about the other areas? The next one down says dominantly metamorphosed rocks. So these are going to be metamorphic rocks. And those are the next three patterns, kind of the next four patterns. And then the last ones are also intensely metamorphosed rocks, or they're also metamorphic. These ones are even more metamorphic, so they've got more change. So all of those last patterns are metamorphic. If you look, that means there aren't igneous rocks. So we can't really find a lot of igneous rocks in New York State because there are no volcanoes. So the rocks are either going to be sedimentary, if they're in the top half of the patterns, or metamorphic if they're one of the bottom half of the patterns. Now let's try that out. So I want to find out what, let's pick green, uh, let's go to visit Watertown. What kind of rocks would I find there? So that has a pattern like diagonal stripes, which is down here. Those rocks are from the Ordovician, a time period that's quite a long time ago. And examples of rocks I could find there are limestone, shale, sandstones, and dolostones. I could say that, but all I need to know is that they are sedimentary. Let's try another one. And let's go over here to Old Forge. That one has the squiggly pattern, and those rocks are from the Middle Proterozoic. And there are some examples here, but all I need to know is that they are metamorphic. They're metamorphosed rocks. Awesome. So you're going to do in the lab some more examples of these. Find the city or the location name, and then tell me what kind of rocks and what time period they came from. Good luck!